Stay healthy for God's sakes. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and who was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourselves but to God. That's the good news translation. Galatians 4, 6. Since you are now God's children, he has sent the spirit of his son into your hearts. The spirit cries out, Abba, Father. Easy to read version. We know from the scriptures and from experience that we cannot do any good thing except the Holy Spirit empowers and enables us. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. He said, This is the message from the Lord to Zerubbabel. Your help will not come from your own strength and power. No, your help will come from my spirit. This is what the Lord All-Powerful says. Again, that's the easy to read version. The Holy Spirit empowers us to pray and also helps us to study, understand, and put God's word into practice. He encourages us when we are discouraged, strengthens us when we are weary, comforts us when we are hurt, and reveals to us the plans of the enemy and how to overcome them. He shows us where the Father needs us in his service and then supplies everything we need to successfully serve in those areas. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 And do not make God's Holy Spirit sad, for the Spirit is God's mark of ownership on you. He guarantees that the day will come when God will set you free. That's the Good News translation. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 19, we are told not to quench the Spirit. In other words, we should not stifle Him or suppress Him. We should not try to stop His work. We must allow the Holy Spirit to freely do what the Father has sent Him to do in us and through us. One way we can do this is by depending absolutely on Him for direction and then ensuring that we follow His leading. There are Christians who actually ask the Holy Spirit for direction, but when He tells them the way to go and it doesn't please them, they go their own way. We need to trust the Holy Spirit and obey every instruction He gives to us. Obeying the Holy Spirit, however, is not the only thing we need to do to ensure that His work in and through us is not hindered. There are Christians who don't seem to realize that the state of their health affects their spiritual development and success in ministry. Jeremiah 36 verse 5 Then Jeremiah said to Baruch, I am a prisoner here and unable to go to the temple. That's the New Living Translation. Sicknesses and diseases do imprison people and stop them from doing even things that they are passionate about. For instance, no matter how much you love the Lord, if you are very sick, you cannot pray, go to church, or go witnessing as much as or as easily as you would if you are healthy. To avoid hindering the work of the Holy Spirit in and through us, we must play our own part to keep sicknesses out of our body and trust God to take care of what is beyond us. A lot of us are presumptuous but think we are exhibiting faith in God and His Word. For instance, there are people who know that certain serious health problems run in their family but never care to get checked out to be sure that they are not at risk. To them, taking such precaution is a sign that they don't, that they don't have faith in God. They seem to forget that when baby Jesus was in danger of being killed by King Herod, the Almighty God who is above all men and can destroy even powerful kings in a twinkling of an eye, asked Joseph to escape to Egypt with the baby and his mother and to remain there until further notice. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Some know that they are at risk and are probably even showing signs of a hereditary disease but do nothing to change their lifestyle to ensure that things don't get worse. They eat and drink things that they know they shouldn't. They fail to exercise or do other things that could help them flourish health-wise. The belief that some of them have is that somehow God will take care of them. They fail to see the wisdom that Jesus manifested in Matthew chapter 4 from verse 5 to 7. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the highest point of the temple, and said to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up with their hands so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. Jesus answered, But the scripture also says, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. That's the Good News Translation. When someone deliberately puts himself in harm's way in the belief that God will deliver him, the result could be tragic. The devil is always looking for opportunities to hurt God's people and stop the work that God's Spirit is doing through them. Sadly, many have enabled him by abusing their bodies. Some have cut short their lives, forcing the Holy Spirit to look for a replacement for them. You may have heard of individuals who have rendered themselves so sick that they can really, do, they can really not do much for God or man. Mark chapter 11 verse 17. He then taught the people, 
It is written in the scriptures that God said, My temple will be called a house of prayer for the people of all nations, but you have turned it into a hideout for thieves. That's the good news translation. Sicknesses and diseases are thieves on a mission to steal, kill, and destroy. Do not use your hands to bring them into your body, which is God's temple. Before you eat or drink something that's appealing but harmful, think of how far doing so could go in affecting your health and hindering the work that God, the Holy Spirit, is doing through you. May the Lord give us wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen.